So hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today what I'm going to talk to you about is how you can continue to train in basketball when you're injured. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Basketball Coach Alan and today on this channel I will show you and talk to you about how to train when you're injured. However, usually on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But anyways, today basically what I'm going to talk to you about is training when you're injured. I just recently sprained my knee. So at first, obviously, it actually happened on that court way over there, but uh, basically um, the reason why I totally stopped in that game after I sprained my knee, a lot of players will continue to play through, but I've had a history of ACL tears, so I stopped. But anyways, it's still stiff, I can't bend it all that well, and I can straighten it today, which is great, which means that I can go out on the basketball court and I can feel confident that if I don't push myself too hard, I can actually get some things done. So for one, I'm trying to lose some weight, so that's why I want to really get onto the court. However, basically what you can do when you have an injured knee, which is what I'm going to talk to you about today, is some simple things like just taking some close shots and maybe some dribbling as well. So let's get over to the net and let's take some shots. So basically you want to get nice and close. You want to try and get as many swishes as you can. It all comes down to how many times you feel confident or how long you have uh, or how many times you feel confident with standing on the knee. Right now I feel pretty confident. And if you want, you can take a step back. And you can hit some shots from farther away. Now, if you can get them in like I am right now, they'll come right back to you. But remember not to run. Because if you have an injured knee like I do today, you don't want to necessarily run after the ball when you miss. That's why I like this court because the fence is all the way around. Now you can also do some dribbling. If you, have, if you are able to bend your knee just a bit, you can get down, you can dribble the ball, you can cross the ball over. Remember to try to keep your head up. And that is some things you can do when you have an injured knee like I do right now. You don't want to do too many stressful things like running, jogging, sprinting, anything like that. You want to do nice and close and easy things so that for one, you can keep your confidence on the basketball court, but also being able to continue shooting because if you don't shoot for a while, you will get super cold and super stiff. Now for me, after my first knee surgery, and actually my, I've had two knee surgeries on my right leg, this is my first major injury on my left leg. I'm gonna call this a major injury, it's only a sprained knee. However, basically, I didn't necessarily wanna get back onto the basketball court right away, and I wish I did. I gained 100 pounds after my first knee injury, and I hope that that does not happen to anybody else. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video.